Hi friends, welcome to the other ID. <clears throat> so my name is Ratan. Guys, we are discussing um, Spring Boot MVC, right? The Spring Boot MVC, the last class we done the Lombok with the model object. Guys, today class onwards, I am going to start the project for the MVC. So this is like, you know, Spring Boot Web MVC project, previous project. Okay, this project, I'll explain, I'll, I'll, I'll write the code for this complete project, okay? <clears throat> you also parallelly do the example for this project. Once if you're good at the project, so you can handle the validations, we can handle the exceptions and we can, uh, what, you can have the controller class, exception class, model class, see guys, this is the main class, com.boot.project, this is a AOP model, uh, library controller advice, this is handling the thread exception handler, at thread controller advice, right, duplicate book exception class, I'll write this complete code for you, okay, this is a controller class, book controller we have. In the book controller, we have the add book, uh, view books, uh, remove, delete book, uh, and edit book, uh, edit is there, right? Yeah, because uh, duplicate book exception, something is goes wrong, we need to handle exception. So let me create the exceptions for that, uh, okay? And the model class I'm going to create, there is a book class here. Book class contains, this is a book class. For this book class, I'm writing the validations also, right? Pattern, not blank, size, not blank. I'm writing the patterns for this, okay? Good. Because project service class. The service class can kind of service IMPL here. The service class just time let me write the logic, right? Exactly. So this project contains controller class, controller layer, service layer. Uh, there is no repository layer because uh, to store this book objects uh, temporarily, I'm going for array list. Array list is also used to store the data temporarily, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> in this project, I'm not going to work with the database. I'm going to work with uh, you know uh, so array list object, right? Yeah, after this, you know, next you can go for the Spring Data JPA. After Spring Data JPA, using time leaf, I'll create one more project, MVC project. That time I will store the data into the database. You got a point, right? But as of now, we are storing the data in the database, just you are maintaining the data using a realist object. Maintain the data using what? A realist object, right? Exactly. So in coming to the MVC project, uh, MVC project, uh, let me create the at the rate uh, controller data because at the rate what first one is at the rate controller annotation okay this is a controller class right this is a controller class so next one is the service data so at the rate uh, what annotation case here we need to go for the service at the rate uh, controller service there is no repository layer okay fine next example i'll include the repository layer and uh, we have the exception handler exception handling exception handling right Exactly, exception handling I have and after that exception handling and uh, we have the validations oh, yeah, validations and I'll use for this Lombok here and uh, I'll use uh, AOP module right? AOP means what? Uh, at the rate controller advice so Lombok and what? AOP AOP means at the rate controller advice and at the rate exception handler I'll go for this one guys so I'll make the controller class I'll make the service, I'll make this one is exception handling and validations, Lombok and AOP, right? Control advice and uh, uh, exception handling, right? Exactly. Guys, let me run this project. Let me show you uh, what we are going to design the application, right? So that you'll get the more clarity. Guys, let me run this application. Right click and Spring Boot application, right? Guys, once if you start running the code, can you please run the code once? Yeah, let me later. Mm, yes, we have the MVC project. So we understood that our project contains a controller layer, service layer, exception handling, AOP, Lombok, model. Mm. This is all the information, right? Yeah, project is up. Just you can open this project, guys. Because first one, first URL, I think uh, the book controller. So we have the first URL is the view books, I think, right? Yeah, so this is a common URL, guys. Request mapping common URL. That's what you can write the first of all common URL slash you can write the view books. Guys, okay, the looks is like this because uh, in this uh, project I'm going to use a bootstrap public bootstrap code. Because I'm going to use what bootstrap. Can you see this code right? Spring Boot MVC project, controller and service and exception handling and view and validations. So click here to add the book, list of books information, which is contains ISBN, name, other, action, edit and delete, right? yeah so why these two records are coming means in the service layer by default uh, in the service layer 
look service IMTL, I took the default these two records. I take on static block. We know that the static block automatically executed uh, when the class is loading, right? That's what here books dot add of new book of one double zero one spring and water then uh, spring wood and was safford, right? Like that we did in the code, right? Exactly. Is it clear? That's what these two books are displaying here. So I click on the add book, sir. Okay, this is the data here. I think the look is very good, right? Because this is a bootstrap. This is a book symbol. This is a book name, book symbol. This is other, like, you know, person symbol like that, right? Yeah. Guys, one double zero nine. <coughs> book name is like, you know, advanced Java. Uh, other is Mr. Ram. Ram. Click on submit. Guys, once if you click on the submit, uh, ISBN number must be four digit. So one double zero nine, you can write better. Oh. So guys, one double zero nine validations, right? Name is required, other is required, right? Yeah, guys, book name is Advanced Java, Mr. Ratan. You can take Ratan's, otherwise, uh, Ratan is there, ROM. You can take right better, guys. Click on submit once if you click on submit, guys. We got the validations, right? See, guys, here you can give a template message like book added successfully. I think you got this message, right? Book added successfully. This is the book, guys, one double zero nine Advanced Java ROM, right? Exactly. Guys, here we can see the template message like, you know, uh, this is a flash attributes, guys. Book has saved successfully. If you click on the delete, here you will get the message like book deleted successfully. Can please see that message? I am going to delete the 1001. Click on the delete. See, guys, 1001 deleted. See the message here? Book deleted successfully, right? Book deleted successfully, right? Exactly. Because after that, uh, let me edit the book. So, the spring boot, I am going to edit, right? Guys, click on edit. Then it should be open like this. See, guys, it should be open with the uh, corresponding form, right? This is a book symbol, Spring Boot. Guys, ID cannot be edited. We cannot edit the ID. ID is a read only field. Spring Boot, uh, you can take the new. Uh, SAS, what I can take the new, right? Click on Save Changes. See, guys, book edit. You got this message, right? Book edited successfully. Guys, Spring Boot new. Uh, SAS, what the new. New, new, we got the message, right? It means book edited and not edited. Book editor and edit. Uh, book is edited, right? Exactly. Yes, after that, if you want to click on the uh, deleter, you can click on the delete book, book, delete book, right? Yeah, exactly. Click on the de delete book, data deleter, right? Exactly. So, you guys, book deleted successfully or not? Guys, click here to add the new book. For example, uh, which book is there previously here? Which book is there? 1009. I'm going to add the same book one more time. Because here yeah, I'm going to add the 1009, uh, something like, you know, this is uh, data is like, you know, <coughs> core Java here. I'm going to write the core Java. I'm going to write the ROM here, something like this. Guys, click on what? Submit. I think 1009 already book is there, right? Already book is there means if you run this code, we get the message, Spring Boot MVC project. Actually, this is a font I changed in the Spring Boot. This is a different fonts we can add. Na? Uh, I'll show you how to add the font in the Spring Boot also. Control and service and exception handling. Error, book already exists, right? Because book already exists. Book name is what? Rob. Book author is Advanced Java. Book ISBN is what? 1009, right? Cannot add an already existing book, right? Exactly. Guys, are you clear now? That is, a, that is information, guys. I think you got the clarity about what we are going to do, right? This is the project I will going to show you, but this project including what now? Tell me what is this project is including. The project is including the completely uh, bootstrap code, very very important bootstrap code, bootstrap code. View layer should be very clear guys, when you click on this one, it should be like this now. See guys, when you are doing your application, simple application, when you click on the submit, your data should be stored as a uh, default values. But if you write the validations, you will get an message like this. See. ISBN must be four digit, name is required, other is required, right? Yes, yes, sir, no. So, for example, ISBN is 1008, I can write like this. So, something like I entered RA and RA, something like this. Click on submit, see, guys. I have I done one more validation, name must be 3 to 255 characters, other must be 3 and 255 characters, right? Are you clear now? Yeah, like that, you should write the validation code very clear, guys. 1008. You can write the core Java and you can write the return right exactly. Guys, just click on what I'm a submit. See, 
Did his book sell successfully or not? This is the message, guys. List of books information, right? Yeah, guys, I'm going to do this project. Okay, I'm going to do this project, right? Is it clear now? Yeah, guys. Every day, follow the videos and try to finish this project. Mostly, I'll take the uh, four class, four to five classes. That's it. Four to five class, max five classes, guys. Actually, in the classroom Monday, I'll start this project. By Friday, I'll complete this project because. Uh, we should add the uh, add uh, edit uh, delete uh, this flash messages and styles uh, we should add these all the points right that's what it is good guys okay, so first let me create the project for this right guys okay, so let me create the project guys okay, so to create the project let me go for the youtube example you have the workspace right let me switch to that workspace uh, other workspace just you can write the youtube example right this workspace click on the launch I don't want to use that workspace file. Guys, yeah, this is a, because everything I want write the code. Okay, writing the code is good. Copy the code, good. Mm -hmm. Definitely write the code is good. Right? That's what. Let me going. Let me write the complete code. Okay. Because previously we completed how many examples? Because I think you guys have done all the examples practical, right? Please respond to the chat box here. Sir, I done the practical about a example. I love you. Get the plastic cast, how many examples? Example 1, example 2, example 3, example 4. I think 4 examples complete, right? Why this example is showing issue? Controller class. This is a person class, is there, right? View example that model. Okay, fine, good. That is not a problem. Guys, can you please create the project here? Click on file menu, click on the new. I am going to create the Spring Starter project. Spring Starter project, can you please write the Spring Starter project MVC. Spring Boot MVC. This is not example. This is all about what uh, project, right? Project. Uh, guys, take this is a type of the project is Maven project. So we have a general and Maven. Maven project. Maven project means pom.xml file, which is a pom.xml file with uh, dependencies, right? Select the jar file. Select the version is a uh, 17th version. Language is Java language, right? Exactly. Guys, com dot boot dot hmm, com dot boot dot what? Uh, com dot boot dot project, right? Yeah, project. Guys, this is a book project. Okay, com dot boot dot project. Fine. Guys, group ID is nothing but package name. This one and this one you can make it the same. And artifact ID is nothing but project name, right? Guys, group ID is what? Every day you are writing the points now. Group ID is nothing. Group ID is nothing but package name. Artifact ID is nothing but project name, right? Guys, sir, no. that is information, guys. Click on the next. Once if you click on the next, guys, I want Spring Web module to make the application web, and I require the Spring Boot Dev Tools module for the application reloads. I require the one more module like Lombok module, uh, Lombok module for what setters and getters, and I require one more module like you know validation module to write that uh, uh, book name is mandatory like that right? Yeah, validation module. Guys, can you please add one of these two, four models enough? Spring Boot Dev Tools for the fast reloads application, Lombok, uh, this is the annotation library which helps to reduce the boilerplate code. It helps to reduce the boilerplate code. Nothing but setters and getters, right? Next one is a validation here. Bean validation with the Hibernate validator, fine. Spring Web is there, uh, which support the RESTful and uh, Spring M build web and the RESTful and uh, Spring MVC. Apache Tomcat is a default embedded container, right? Exactly. Guys, click on the finish. So the project is created, right? Guys, the project is what created, right? Yeah, in this video, just to create the project, guys. First, to create the project. Okay, so I think you got the clarity what we are going to do so that we can create the project first. Okay, yes, as far as the main Java, first, let me create the this is the Spring Boot application starting point. This is the Spring Boot application starting point, right? Yeah, exactly. Guys, let me create the uh, what we should create. Tell me first, let me create the model class. New, I want take the class. Guys, com dot wood dot project dot what uh, model class right? Can please add the model class. The model class is a book class. Click on the finish. See guys, this is a package. This is a package. Package should be very clear, guys. So this is a model class. Guys, tell me here. So uh, so first of all, you can take the private. So int, I can write the ISBN International Standard Book Number. ISBN full form is what? 
international standard book number uh, private string private int isbn private string name of the book next one is what private string author of the book right like these three properties i want last class i told you that at the rate setters it will generate the setter method right yeah can you see the setter methods here three setter methods last class i told you how to show that uh, no how to create that long walk and even that long walk videos are there in the description just you can check it okay yeah at the rate bottom so you can write the getters so at the rate getters means getters are generated but the setters and getters the object is created using how many argument constructor no argument constructor that's what required like that and after that i told you uh, i required the all argument constructor at the rate what all argument constructor for all argument constructor is initializing all the values all argument constructor is initializing what into string string right to return the all the values required one method like you know two string method right exactly because this is like two string method right i think you got the clarity now setters getters no argument constructor guys okay, this is very very important check the last class if you have, if you have, if you have any confusion check the last class video once and moreover can you please check the lombok module so that you get the more idea lombok clearly explained the process seven videos are there almost hmm yeah guys this is the data but see guys instead of writing this many number of annotations so let me remove this all annotation guys if you remove this all annotations here all are removed guys here we have one annotation at the rate data annotation guys if you write the data annotation can you please see in the outline here getters are generated setters are generated to string is generated everything is generated right getters setters equals hash code to string constructor everything is generated at the rate data annotation will generate the setters getters or to string method right setters ready getters ready to string is ready guys yes, instead of writing the multiple annotation at the rate data annotation guys so at the rate data annotation generating setters and getters but you want all argument constructor that's what you write the all argument constructor right when the all argument constructor return default constructor will gone guess yes or no when all argument constructor is there default constructor is gone that's what at the rate bottom of no argument constructor right exactly i think why no argument constructor why all argument constructor is clearer i'm i'm telling the point one more time listen why all argument constructor means the object is created with all the values all argument constructor got executed guys the object is created with what all the values all argument constructor executed but setters and getters means what the object should be created using zero argument constructor right the object is created using what zero argument constructor right guys yes or no that's what no argument constructor right required at the rate data annotation will generate the setters and getters and two string also generated at the rate all argument constructor generating all argument constructor at the rate no argument constructor generating the no argument constructor data right guys are you clear now that is that is information guys so like that we created like you know what object we created term here model object is created right guys model object is created or not this is the way just you can see this data at the rate data annotation data annotation will generate the setters getters to string equals whatever it may be and uh, all argument constructor generating all argument constructor and uh, no argument constructor generating what zero argument constructor right exactly guys this is the model object is ready guys after that is the model object guys so you can do up to this one better so you first create the project and create the model object can you please check that at the rate data is coming or not at the rate all argument constructor at the rate no argument constructor this all the data is coming properly or not you got the point right yeah guys meet in the next video i'll go for the controller class i'll create the controller class right yeah bye guys